all right and welcome back to um, this lesson on c plus plus in today's lesson we're going to talk about control flow statements so i'm going to say um, control flow control flows and what we are going to talk about under control flow we're going to talk about the if statement okay now what i thought is the if statement now if statement is used to uh, make decisions in programming all right so for instance we can say int number okay so i will say int a equals five and then we we'll say int b equals six and then we'll be comparing this to see uh, to tell our our program to make decisions based on the uh, input we have given so with this program we can tell our um, code or our software to make decisions based on a certain condition that we are going to use for instance we can ask our code to compare the values to see which one is lesser or which one is greater and based on that you're going to make decisions with it now how do we do that to write a control flow or if statement you first start with the keyword if all right so we're going to compare uh, some decision we're going to make some decisions so we're going to say if and then we'll bring our parentheses and inside the parentheses we are going to write our conditions so we we'll say if and here we're going to make use of our um, comparison operators or the logical operators okay so we're going to say if a is greater than b okay so this is the condition we have given to it compare a to b if a is greater than b what should happen and then we we'll go outside the parenthesis and create our curly bracket and inside our curly bracket we're going to give the uh, the decision that must be taken all right so here we can say this decision should be c out um, a is greater than b okay so we are saying that if a is greater than b they, they they should print out a is greater than b all right you can just give any condition to it you can say true you can say you no know, your own text your own decision but bear in mind that this is how it works so you create your if statement by writing your if and then adding uh, parentheses and inside the parentheses you're going to write your condition and then you bring your curly bracket and inside the curly bracket you're going to write your decision so the condition in the parentheses and then the decision in the curly bracket so here let's see what happens if we run this okay we're going to see that there's nothing happening here why because after comparing a to b it did, it did not satisfy our condition a is five whereas b is what six and looking at this a cannot be greater than um, b because 5 cannot be greater than c so that is why our program did not output anything if we say if we change this to let's say 10 and now we run it again okay we can see that it is saying that uh, a is greater than b because now it is comparing a which is 10 to b which is 6 and knows that yes uh, 10 is greater than 6 therefore a is also greater than what b so it's going to give us this condition there are different condi um, things that we can do when it comes to the if statement it, you know general, uh, generally you can create every condition with it so i want to say something like maybe int um okay int x or you can let's say first let's use variable names first number equals um, 60 and we can say int second number equals 23 and then we can also do comparison right here so if uh, a equals b so we are using the equal to sign that is a double um, equal sign you know the single equal sign is an assignment operator but the double is the equal to so you can say c out 
A is equal to B. So let's see if um, that one also works. So I'm going to close this now uh, and then I probably have to end. All right, so you go like this. Um, probably I've forgotten um, something. No, I've forgotten something. Okay, yes, I've forgotten this. All right, so whenever you make um, something, uh, an error, you're going to point out to you where the error is. So, first one, satisfy the condition that is A is greater than B. My second one, there's no output because 60 is not equal to 23. If we make this 60, then it's going to meet our condition. So let's see, when we run this, our condition will now be met. So A equals B. Oh, sorry. So we have to use the variable names right here. So first, no, first number equals second number. First number equals second number. So that is the variable name. So we're going to do that right here. And then we're going to get A is equal to B. A is greater than B, according to our two programs that we have created. So this is how the if statement works. See you in the next video.